Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridgetech with another flashlight review, this time on a Thrunite TT10. Now I was sent this by Thrunite directly, they wanted me to test and review. This flashlight comes in this box, they do have an Amazon store, and you will also be able to get these directly from their website, which I will include a discount code, save it 20%. So let's wait no further, let's open this up see what's in now this is a complete kit, comes with a battery, so that really nice to get you started right out of this box. So I'm going to take everything out here on top to get to the stuff on the bottom. We have a through night manual, which we will look for the English version of the specs. Here they are here. So as you can see, this can put out a lot of lumens, 3,700 on turbo, especially for the size of this light. Now if you need more time to read these, go ahead and pause your screen, otherwise we're going to move on. And of course you get a thank you card from Prunite, multi-languages. And you get a basic holster with this. It does have elastic material here. There's a little bit of padding in here to provide some protection of the light when carrying it. D-ring of course. You've got a lanyard as well as an extra rear button, switch cover as well as O-rings in there as well. USB rechargeable, so it does provide you a little cable there for it. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the light. And there it is. Very nice compact flashlight. Feels good in the hand. Of course, you do have a little beacon that's on there, let you know it's ready to go. Power switch, as well as a pressure switch here on the tail cap, and you do have a side switch. Machining and finish on this is excellent. This indentation on the barrel here provides pretty good grip and this should provide a good non-slip for if you're wearing gloves. No real heat sinking on the head. A little bit here to head of the light here. Not much though. Now this is running the 21700 cell, so it's going to be really nice on the run times. Charging port's got a good cover on it, feels good. Style on design on this is very nice. And you've got the gray bezel here. Alright, so now let's go ahead and take a look here at the textured reflector. And this is running the Cree XHP 70B LED. Now it looks like the 70.2, but must be something new about that LED, so that's what Trunai calls it. Alright. Alright, so now let's go ahead and open this up and I'll show you 
the battery that it comes with and you've got heavy duty dual springs on the tail and you've got a heavy duty spring down inside I can't take the barrel off the head so we'll go ahead and show you the battery here this is a 21700 cell 5000 milliamps on this this is a protected cell adds a lot of value to this they're going more and more to these 21700 cells and this model of battery is really nice the, they've got a lot of expansion capabilities for future uh, milliamp upgrades in this cell so it's going to be really nice to see this in the future as more and more lights come out with them now that we got this all put together let's go ahead and go through the UI UI you're going to go ahead and turn that on now to go through the light outputs of course you do have a battery level indicator behind this switch so that's nice then from here press and hold to go through those light outputs you've got three on the normal UI then if you want to press and hold to go through those light outputs you can also and at any time any level you can double click to get that 3700 lumens of turbo a lot of light coming out of here <laughs> very large hot spot here centralized does have a lot of bleeding to the spill so it's going to be a more of a combination beam which are really becoming more and more popular then of course you can press that one time to turn it off you can press and hold from off to get the lowest light output and that's really low and of course that's hidden so if you turn it off turn it back on it does have memory mode turn it off turn it back on so you got memory mode on that so that's nice now with the light on or off to get to strobe you can double click that and that is a really bright distracting strobe and it is a constant speed of the strobe so now we're going to go to the tail and you now have instant access this is the tactical end of the light you can pressure switch this 3700 lumens at the spur of the moment instant access whatever you want to call it instant access to strobe from there turn that on again you can do the same way so it's nice that it has both the tactical feel of the light here as well as the everyday carry user is going to use it like this if you're a military tactical police officer whatever you want to use it you're going to use it like that all right pretty excited to see how this does outside in the wilderness we are out here in the darkness with the through night tt10 from through night and we're ready to go 35 feet it's got water spout from where i'm standing 65 feet to that tree there there it is on the fence and this is going to be leaning towards the floody side All right. and we're going to go to the next level come alive here solid performance on this. I was kind of playing around with it earlier. And 
that tree there, it's making the tree of life 138 feet from where I'm standing. All right, we're going to go to the next level here. Sorry about that. That does that after a while that it's been on a single output that you had it on. 138 feet. Look at that. Not even on turbo yet. <laughs> a lot of light coming out of here. Usually making it across the park. Again, tree line, fence line, doing really good. Pan around slowly here. Now this is not gonna have super rains on it, but it is faintly making 238 feet. Behind this tree is another tree. making the school even with the lights on. So you got some pretty good range on this. All right, the moment of truth. Let's check out Turbo. <laughs> wow. Look at the beam. Look at how wide this is. All from this little light. Compact. A lot of light comes out of here. I don't run turbo a lot on my lights. I use them on high. Beam profile with the trees. They tend to get hot on any light I've ever gotten with turbo. And these high output lights. Now it has stepped down a little bit, but still doing really well. And we'll bump it back up. We'll do a before and after here. There's turbo again. Before. After. <laughs> Waking up the bugs out here. All right. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Okay. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Now I put it in the holster here. Guys can see it. it. Does provide some basic protection of the light. As far as the carrying it every day with it over a period of time, yeah, these are on the thin side, so you definitely want to be careful. But it should provide a good basic protection if you're not doing anything harsh out there in your wilderness expeditions. So this is what the lanyard looks like. Really nice size, easily can fit large hands. And again, want to stress with it out there tonight, this thing can generate a lot of heat and a lot of light output. So definitely want to go over that lockout feature with you. Now, when you're on moonlight or firefly mode, you're going to turn that on and you're going to press and hold until the light goes out then that will lock the light out. You definitely don't want this to come on in your pocket and you had it on high, it's gonna start heating up things real quickly. And of course, turbo is not memorized in the UI, so that's a good thing, but high is still gonna generate a lot of heat, especially in your pocket or bag. It's gonna cause some damage to whatever material you have it in. So, Excellent performance on this. A lot of light can come out of this. Of course, running it on high is what I recommend, which still provides a lot of light. Now, turbo, it's like that. Oh, I need that extra power using that tail switch to turn that on momentarily and then going back to the side switch. Really nice that they've done both tactical and everyday carry all in one light. So bottom line, this is another keeper from through night for me. They make top quality flashlights and they're out there to do so. They continue to make really nice uh, affordable lights. They, very, they do make very expensive lights as well, but here you're not going to pay an arm and a leg to get a lot of light. Remember, this is a complete kit, so it comes with everything you need. 
right out of that box. So now I want to thank Through Night for sending me this kit to review. Now if this is something you are interested in getting, I'll leave a link to their main website, which I will also include a discount code in the description area, as well as their Amazon store. So if you want it quicker and you need it, you'll be able to get it a lot faster through Amazon. Well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these flashlight kits from Through Night to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.